Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to chapter 10. A fire emblem, the con questioning. Pick my units. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and let's get into it, I suppose. So first things first, uh, I did some strength and speed kitchen shit, so you can just see how everyone's stats have changed. And with that, let's get into it. So I need to defend this green zone for 11 turns, and ladies and gentlemen, that is an incredibly hard task that will require a lot of effort. So hopefully, I'm up to the challenge. First things first, I want to believe these spear mentions, if you may remember. Uh, from a couple chapters ago, their defense is quite above the rest of our foes. Then I want... What? At least go over here, get a Master Seal. Sing me a song of conquest and fates, you know that shit. And then I want to go down here and activate my Master Seal. And get more power by having at least become a Malignite. Like that. Bada bing bada boom. So a lot more magic now, she can finally use her good stat. Fire, which will be useful in a bit. I'm gonna have Effie go over here to go get 10,000 gold, which is what is in that. And then I think I'll have these goons go over here to deal with the archers that want to overtake my ballista over here. Very nasty creatures. Then have Jacob pair up with Chris, like that. And then, I guess, have Arthur pair up with you. Like that. So yeah, it'll take a couple turns for those Oni Savages to break that wall, which is why I'm not too, too, too concerned about it at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this chapter sure does, sure does have enemies. Sure does have them. Now, these guys have lunge, which can be annoying, so I'm going to chip at them before they activate combat with me. Like this, so that way even if he activates lunge, he will perish. And Jacob has that personal skill that just gives Orn a ton of bonuses. So it is convenient to have. Stupid only savages. Their resistance is sealed, but that doesn't really do much for me. Fire orb. Unfortunately missed those ninjas, but hopefully that does not come into play too much. And now I think I'll switch. Actually, no, I'll switch here. Yep. And then equip my fire tome. And because Elise is paired up, she won't get dual attacked by these guys, and we'll just be fighting the ninjas. And Niles needs to GTFO, and I guess just take out this guy. Because if he does not GTFO, those ninjas will massacre him. Epically. It's not very fun, ladies and gentlemen. It's not very fun. Alright, now... Maybe keep Azura up here to just deal with the archers, since they are quite nasty. And then have Effie on her little horse. Get me my goods. Alright, yeah. see you, ladies and gentlemen. This is fine. They only do four damage. And I'm building up dual gauge, which is nice. Wish it did a bit more, but oh well. Oh, this guy does 8, which is not good. But I am building up my dual meter, which is nice. And then next turn I could have Nyx maybe target those own savages. These guys do not have their stupid little skill, which makes them avoid me. I mean, go past me, so the, that, that will be fine. Get your res sealed. Alright, yep. Yeah. Alright. Now we have a Doug Dim a Dancer gunning for our ass here. I mean a flyer. But this turn we get some help from the front. So I'm very grateful for that. Now to just take out the la this savage. That's what you sound like. Alright, now what I think I'll do is... I would like to heal Elise, but I will actually get her up to guard gauge, so she will survive this turn, at least this turn. 
So, yeah. So now my main concern is these guys. 7 times 2. 14, alright. Yeah, so maybe just have Odin pair up with Seus. Okay, yeah, and then we just run around these guys. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So because of all the reinforcements, this chapter, and the fact that the defense is quite hard, since Pegasus will be climb path through the whole time, this chapter has sorta gained a reputation in what I would call the Fire Emblem community. To where it is, uh, let's just say, extremely and unyieldingly difficult on several levels. Alright. But let's see what we got here. So I do want Kimila to go over to this house over here because it has a very cool item that I want called the Dual Club. And then maybe start chipping away at these Oni Savages. Yep. And then we can have Selena go deal with those punks. Have Effie come over here. Alright, I just have Elise deal with the ninjas like this. Yep, perfect, alright. And now because of Guard Gauge, she'll just take out the next one next turn. And then I think I'll get Niles up here maybe out of Danger's range. And then have Baruka maybe go try to bully the Pegasus Knights that are over here since she's pretty tough. Yep. It's okay because I have my Gauge. Oh my god, a miss. Are you kidding me? That's so cheap. Ooh, this guy does 5 damage. Luckily for you, me, I have my dual gauge. Corrin, you're not supposed to miss those, honey. Okay, going for these guys. Not what I would call a big brain play, considering you do 2 damage. Oh. Okay. So now those freaks are coming. And more guys over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, god damn. Are you feeling the burn, ladies and gentlemen? Are you feeling it? Zero damage here. So this is just an easy win. Well, not a win, just a good chip, I guess. Whoa. Yep. So Baruka's good for just getting rid of those. Some, of, some of the fiends this chapter. And I guess I'll just have dealing with these crummy archers until the end of time be Seus' job. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we have to do this for 11 turns, and I'm pretty sure I am on turn 3. Turn 4? Okay. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's still quite a bit of defending to be done here. Quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And on a very special turn, uh, you know, when I'm the enemy units will just decide to make the defense map even harder than it already was. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know how it is sometimes? You know how it be when it do? Okay. God, I really would like to chip down these guys. Alright, so how much do you do? Zero. Alright. So I'm actually feeling pretty safe about just sending Camilla down here to just fucking kill some people. Because it, it needs to be done, ladies and gentlemen. It needs to be done. Maybe I don't even need to chip them if Camilla's down there. I just have these Freakazoids dealt with. Alright. Mm. Yeah, alright. He faces 3% crit, that's most uncool. Alright, this is Selena. We'll be reclassing her after this map to a flyer. But for now, she has to be this way. Good god. Lots of opposition, lots of opposition. Alright, where's Effie? Alright. I think this turn I'll mend Elise. Just mend her real quick. Let's see, mend. Yep, get that Elise up. She's very good at taking damage, so I would like her to keep taking it. And now, let's just have Camilla go down here and start killing people. Yeah, 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 okay, we're done. We're done here. Goodbye. 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 So, Camilla is a very good pre-promote in this chapter specifically. She does fall off after a while, in my experience at least. Maybe not in everyone's. Maybe I'm speaking too broadly, but in my experience, Camilla kind of loses it after a while. 
kind of loses what she has, but for now, though, for now, I'll take it. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, who do I still have yet to move is my question. Azura. Can't really move her in range of the Pegasus Knight, though. Otherwise, she will get got. Okay, going in range of Corrin is an interesting choice. Actually, kind of a bad choice. Really wish at least hit that guy earlier. Because now my defense is sealed. But these guys are no match for me, ladies and gentlemen. They are about to die. Actually, pairing her up is like probably would have been a good idea. Not gonna lie. Okay, whatever. Bone, iron club. I would have liked if you got a miss there. That would have been cool in my opinion. Ha 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 Yep, yep, we know. You crazy, girl. You crazy. Okay, but Camilla should be fine here. Should be. Mostly fine. Bye. Fortunately, I think she's gonna get sealed again. Which is not good. Okay, whatever. Foreign can just keep dealing with these guys. No problemo, because she is banky. Very banky. Okay, just go, 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 dude, I don't care if you go for this guy, he's good, I mean, he's a good unit, he's not gonna get killed by you anytime soon. And because of Odin Dark, he reaches all of his cool stat benchmarks. So joke's on you, scrub. Okay, so four times two, okay. Camilla, kinda getting low. But I do want, but I do want that dual club, I really want it, because it reverses weapon triangle, so it's pretty much a reaver weapon. This is very good to have, but these fucking enemies keep killing me. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get the point. Okay, breaking the wall. Not very epic. Not very epic. Okay. Niles Chan, please eliminate my foes. Thank you, Niles Chan. Thank you. Luckily, bows are good against it. lances, so that's convenient, I guess. Alright. So the big question is, will Camilla get fucked if I leave her out for any longer? Let's see. That guy started attacking the wall. It's two damage. One, 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 one. Okay, so I will... I'll, I'll, I'll get the dual club this turn. Yeah, and then next turn... And then next turn, retreat her. Villager girl that everyone likes. Okay, so we got the dual club, which actually reverses weapon triangle. Very good weapon to have. This one is in range of Obero, which is a very dangerous foe. So I don't know if we'll be able to get that one. But we can try at least. We can, we can try, like, we can try. All right, what does your personal skill do, girl? Opportunist, when attacking a foe, can't fight back. Ooh, that's not very good for this map. But whatever, okay. This is going surprisingly well. Probably just jinxed myself, but okay. I think now what I'll do is try to get Azura back to the main force so she can be more useful. Right. And then I think I'll start... Killing that ninja would be badass. So what I'll do with Elise is fire this guy. And then kill that stupid ninja with his stupid broke debuffs. Yes, 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 yes. I wonder what turn the bullshit begins. You know, you know, if you've played this game before, you'll know what I mean by the bullshit. You'll just know, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Okay. 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 It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Niles in range, but it's not like he gets. What are you in range of, actually? Okay, so one flyer on Niles' part. Ooh, actually, ooh. Not a good situation right now. For some of my units, I'm glad I noticed that. Okay, heal you. Another level up for Epi. Oh boy. Skill res. Damozel. What does that do? Male allies with the two spaces receive my damage during combat. Okay, that might come in handy later. We'll see. We'll see. Now these archer dudes are coming up. Probably just leave CS as the bodyguard for that. Okay. One damage. Come on, Camilla. You can live. Two plus one. Come on, Camilla. You can live. You can live. You can live. I believe in you. 
Come on, Camilla. Okay, you missed both of your attacks there. That's not cool, I'm not gonna lie. That might become an issue. Okay, just flying by, flying by, flying by, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I planned for this, I planned for this. This is literally fine. Okay, so turn six. We are officially halfway done. So that's positive news. Alright, Baruka. Go school this sucker. You bitch, come on. That's an 85 and double RN. That should have hit. That should have hit. That should have hit. That's lame. That's lame. Alright. So 28. That'll kill. Yep, that killed. Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Bunch of Oni Savages over here. So I'll get mixed back on that turret grind. To make that problem disappear. Get you into safety range. Just to get mended quickly. Staff mend. Yep, just heal up, your old friend. Just heal up. Just heal up. Okay, now unfortunately I think I have to waste Elise's turn dealing with this guy, which is annoying. If only Corin had actually taken care of it. Now I have to risk Baruka missing again, which is, which is super duper unfortunate. Okay, so that's death. Death from above. Okay, now what I have to do is like... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll dance for Baruka. And if she doesn't hit, well then that's just unfair. That's just unfair at that point. Okay, now you have a 95% chance to hit, so if you miss, you're like fucking bad at fire on Baruka. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Okay, archers. Cannot reach this turn, but next turn should be good. Ruka's making her way back to the mainland, which is fine. And then I'll just kill this one. So we are taking out the enemies, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking them out quite efficiently. Maybe not maximum efficiency, but they are dying. Okay, speed defense. Ooh, that's getting defense is kind of bad because now I think they'll just ignore me and go for the goal, which is not the best situation to be in. But oh well. Guess I'll have Selena go over there. And what else do we have to move? Well, I'll see us in Odin, but they can just stay where they are. All right. I think next turn is the one where shit goes down, so. Whatever. Okay, actually I want them to debuff me so these other guys actually attack me. No shit. Okay, going for me, that's interesting. Idiotic fool. Don't you know my power? Okay. So that wall's broken, so that's just a choke point gone. A choke point gone, okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta drink some fucking water for this next part. Alright, water consumed. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is called a Dragon Vein, for those of you who have not been watching this series. And what that just did... What that just did, ladies and gentlemen, what that just did... What it did was, it deleted all my choke points from existence. That's what that did. Huh, <sighs> and now there are a bunch of other flyers coming at me. To presumably uh, end my entire career. And I have to do this with characters in really bad classes. God damn this map. Alright. I actually double this one, so that's cool. Thank you, Niles Chan. God bless. Alright, now comes the issues of these Oni Savages. 
Okay, so they still can't attack Nyx, which is good. Because eventually what those guys start doing is they just go around and attack Nyx anyway. 16, alright, please hit. Just please, just do your job. Just do it. Thank you, Baruka. Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Okay. Not in range of anything else. So now we're free to do something with Elise this turn. Now, unfortunately, let's see, speed 12, speed 11. Attack 18. Okay, so no universe one rounds Nyx. That's good. Which means I can... Okay, so what I'll do over here, right, with these only savages, since they're really tough customers, is I'll pair up with Camilla to give, like, one more defense. So let's see now, how much do you do? Let's see. My Steel Axe do be quite sexy. Yeah, okay, so these guys do jack shit. And none of them reach my little Nyx over here. Ooh, Throwing Club. And then an Iron Club, ooh. Ooh, yeah. So I'm glad I noticed that that guy had a Throwing Club shit. Mm. Okay, let's just take out this ninja. My Bronze Axe just one rounds him, so yeah. Let's just take out this ninja, ladies and gentlemen. A guard. Okay. 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 Phew. Okay, yeah. So let's see, what are we on? Turn seven. So keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, four more turns without choke points even on this defend map. I mean, I can lie, ladies and gentlemen. Pro probably gonna have to reset this a couple times. Finally. Honestly, I'm surprised we made it this far on pretty much the first run. I say pretty much the first run because... Okay, so he's one space away from activating his bullshit powers. Good. Uh, Elise can't really do much this turn in terms of fighting those guys. Okay, so Camilla will be fine regardless fighting these guys, so I don't really need to fire orb them. Like, she'll just be fine regardless. That's all. Yep, that's all, that's all. These guys are really having it out for me. Okay, so like then... Problem is, Elise will just get spammed with debuffs and then die. Like Steel Naginata, like this guy does a lot. So right now, I think we just need to block off Azura from, like, dying a horrible, painful death. So I'll do that with Elise and just equip, and equip like a Bronze Axe. Okay, so everyone over here is safe. Get Nyx out of the way. She can't do anything over here anymore. Otherwise, she'll die. Although, I don't have her recruited, so theoretically I could sack her here and not suffer any long-term consequences. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so funny story. When this game first came out. Okay, so whatever. Get blocked, you cringe scrub. But I have a dancer over here, so these forces should be able to deal with... Steel, you mean my man, you are packing heat! Haha, <laughs> luckily you're bad at fire emblem though. Luckily for me, I mean! Alright. Camilla, please, just, just do your job where you kill. Kill, murder, kill. Kill, murder, kill. Kill, murder, kill. Kill, kill. Kill Nye, the science guy. Kill Nye, the science guy. Okay, go, goes for Niles. Doesn't even do any damage. Well, does three damage, but that's not really anything. Does it? And he misses too. She misses. Unfortunately, now we got a bunch of Steel Naginata guys trying to get into my butthole over here, and two paired up flyers, and more reinforcements, and more reinforcements, and more reinforcements, and it is turn eight currently. Okay. You know what? Okay. Okay, Fire Emblem Fates. Oh, okay, Fire Emblem Fates, the video game. Okay, okay Fire Emblem Fates, the video game. I see how it, I see how it is. I see how it is. Fire Emblem Fates, the video game. And then it doesn't even give my CS a good level up, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe the audacity of this bullshit? Okay, so, like, Baruka needs to come home. Okay, so, like, you see, normally I could just have, you know, Effie just heal Camilla and then have Camilla continue to delete these guys, but due to current circumstances, as you can see, because of this dryness, that's really not a thing, ladies and gentlemen, that we can do currently. Oh, Jesus. Okay, whatever. We have Niles. We have Niles, ladies and gentlemen. And Niles is incredibly based, let me tell you. 
He can capture units, he doesn't afraid of anything. Eh, I've had better. First gay guy in the series, I'm pretty sure. Incredibly based. Okay, whatever. So I can have Corin come over here to try to get rid of these guys. You probably eat shit. 3% crit, 50% hit, that's cringe. Uh, so you kinda die. Hmm. Alright. So how will I actually defeat these Shoryuken guys? What I could do is, like, have Bruka... Oh, fuck, they're not paired up, though. Alright, well, first thing I'll definitely do is... Well, hold on. No, I can't. I just cannot reach that spot until the enemies are purged from that point. No! Ah, oh, fuck! I... I did the wrong thing, ladies and gentlemen. I misclicked because I hit Z instead of X on my keyboard. Fuck, that's annoying. I didn't want to attack that guy. I wanted to attack the other guy. It's really fucking annoying. Shit. Whatever, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, okay. This throwing club guy has 19 attack. Alright, you're defensive enough to take a couple. I still need to take care of this guy, though. Alright. Still need to take care of that guy. Okay. So why don't I just Bronze X this guy right now? Why don't I just do that right now? Okay. Fortunately, he hit. Now, Baruka, just do the thing. Just do the thing. Don't miss like you did before. Just. Do, just do it, just do it. Yes, okay, you did it. You did it, Baruka. You didn't fuck it up. Okay, good. Good, good, okay. That guy can go for Niles. He can actually dual attack Niles, which is not good. Okay, so Nyx is pretty much done this chapter. So I'll just pair up with Baruka. So she doesn't eat shit. Yeah, that's good. That one is darting blow, so that's cringe. Alright. And I'll go over here to this bridge. Put my steel axe. Wait, no. If they did a pair up attack on me, then that'd be bad, so. Yeah, let's just completely get out of range for now. Then mend. Okay, yeah, then mend. Okay, now then mend. Okay, then I'll dance her back into range. So that's how I'll do it. Sorry, darling. Okay. So that works out. Cius is still just vibing to his tunes. Okay. So I'll sing for you, sing for me a song of conquest and fate. Do dee dee da boo da. Then just like go over here and kill the bastard. See how much would Thunder do to this guy? Because getting rid of this guy would be pretty epic. But then I won't really one round of this guy. Which would be cool. Whatever, I'll just get rid of the Throwing Club guy since he's infinitely more fucking annoying. Because of his two range. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so Camilla will be safe for this turn, which is epic. Which is quite epic. Enemy phase. Okay, just go for Niles, doesn't matter. matter. Okay, now they're going for Elise. And next turn, hopefully, I can just have more anything up there. God, these guys are strong. Okay, this one dies, so that's pretty epic. Not gonna lie. Okay, just get defense or something. Just get defense to increase your survivability. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lunge. Okay. Ooh. Okay, whatever. I don't even care. Camilla's good, you're not gonna hit her. You hit her, you fucking cheeky bastard. You cheeky little shit. Okay, now y'all are just being like, irritating about it. Y'all are just being irritating. Okay, whatever. Baruka's fine, she got defense, so whatever. Baruka's fine. Fortunately, we still got two paired up flyers gunning for our ass. Next turn, I believe. So, Niles will have to, like, 
figure that one out. Oh god. Oh sweet baby Jesus. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I get the point. I get the point. I get the point. Okay. Luckily for us, Corin can now re-enter the picture. Just get that ass. Just get that ass. Corin has only taken like four damage this entire chapter. Which is very convenient. Very convenient. I'm not gonna lie. I will not lie. However, our enemies in range that want to do bad things to us. Okay, so let's see. We're on turn nine. Turn nine. So let's see. This turn, next turn would be turn ten. So that'd be, let's see, they have five move. One, two, three, four, five. And then after that, it's turn eleven. Do I have to survive turn eleven enemy phase? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So these ballista aren't even like a big deal. Because uh, the map's pretty much over by the time they get there. So. What I'll do for now is just kind of... Let's see. You definitely don't reach, right? You definitely don't? Yeah, definitely not. Just shit, these flyers are annoying. Luckily, Camilla is just kind of... Killing. Slaying like a queen over here. So I think I'll just leave her to her devices. Yes, queen! Yes! Yes! People should on Camilla, but this chapter would be literally impossible without her. Huh. Slay queen! Okay, Rook has a full guard gauge. So that'd probably be best. Okay, so whatever. I think I'll have Niles attack this guy first. Just take get rid of him. Just get him out. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. Thinking is for nerds. Okay, then have Baruka just fuck up this guy with her guard gauge. Yep. Yep, okay, okay. Now dance for Niles, Chan. Just dance for Niles, Chun. Not bad, I guess. Yep. Okay. Now I just realized there was a brigand down there. So I oop, I'm not in range of him. Nope, just barely not. Okay, cool. Okay. Get out of here, my man. You are irrelevant. Okay, but I think we're done with reinforcements for now, which is pretty epic. I didn't get one of the houses. Hopefully it didn't have anything too important. Okay, cool. Now Elise desperately needs healing. So I think I will provide, let's just see. Throwing club, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so no universe. Is that a thing? So I'll just mend. Elise. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Camilla's fine where she is. No more reinforcements. And I think I'll move Seas towards the main group, honestly, since he is kind of done over here. Kind of, at least. Actually, maybe not, honestly, because then that might lure the Pegasus Knights over here to go for him. Let's just leave him in the corner for now, I think. Okay, yeah, so go for Camilla, you ignorant baboon. Dead. Glad that's over with. Glad that's over with, yep. Oh god, no. Why did you do that? That's so annoying. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is motherfucking turn 10 of this 11 turn defense map, and it's also where everything falls apart. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe it's not where everything falls apart, because let's see. There's a brick wall here. Can flyers go over that? Yeah, flyers can go over that, which is unfortunate. Okay, so whatever. We just need to have Camilla duke these guys out. Okay, so Thunder is 100% accurate. Okay. This guy actually doesn't reach, so he's not a threat for now. Okay, wait. 
God, I wish Corrin could do something this turn. But she just doesn't. Reach. And I need somebody to choke that fucking point. Like there's no tomorrow. Alright. Shit. Okay, I need to really take a second to think about this. So you're dead. Yep, you're dead. Goodbye. And now I need to eliminate this flyer. Because it can reach the point. Okay. There are walls here to prevent me from getting hit too bad, and if Niles misses, then this game's cheating. This is a cheating game if Niles misses. Alright. So Niles, my man, my man, my man. My man, it'd be most cool of you. Most cool, most cool if you hit this. 83% chance. Okay, just do it. Just do it, Niles. Just do it. Yes! Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nice. Now I need to dance, unfortunately. Speed 15, speed 10. How do I do this in a way as to where... Hold on, I need to drink more water to really think about my next move here. Okay, because this is really, really important. Really important. So if I dance with Elise to kill that guy, then who will then make sure Niles is okay? Let's see. Defense. Let's see. 16. So I really need to make sure that this guy dies. Okay, so bronze axe, 14. Okay. So maybe what I do. Let's see four. Let's see steel, and you just have iron. Fortunately, um, but let's see speed fifteen, speed ten. Shit. Okay. Because I could dance for Corin, or maybe not. Um, maybe not. So let's see, the main thing is, if I were to dance for... If I were to dance for Azura, how would I make her be safe? Let's see, we are on turn 10. Ends on turn 11. Ends on turn 11. Okay, so maybe what I can do... Uh, let's see. Let's see. Here. Really wish I doubled these guys. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Your attack is 19. Wait. Let's see, speed 22. Okay, that might be the ticket then. That might be the ticket. Actually, how much do you take, Karuka? From this guy, do you die? Seven. How are you not getting doubled? Oh, Steel Naginata. Make it more difficult, to, make more difficult to double. Okay, that makes sense. And like I said, these guys can only get in through the choke point because there's a wall here, conveniently placed by the developers. So let's see. I what if I do this? So, so let's see. This guy only has 19 attack because he has a throwing club, and Azura has 17 attack and no weapon equipped. Like, she does not have this equipped right now. And just to make sure she doesn't get Weapon Triangle against her, what I could do is right. So I trade her and my Brass Naginata to just to make sure I don't have Weapon Triangle disadvantage. Oh shit, I didn't actually do that. Haha, uh -huh, I'm an idiot. Whatever, I could just do that with a different unit. So I sing for you. I just get her over here. And I kill, 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 and I don't miss, and I kill. Poor thing. Poor thing, yep. Okay. So that guy doesn't reach. That's a fact, he just does not reach. That point, so that's good. And then what I can do... 
is go up here, switch, transfer, wait, and then go over here and choke this motherfucking point. However, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to attack this turn because because I lost Jacob, I do actually lose three of my sh defense points that I had. So yeah, for now. Okay, and then that, she cannot reach the point. So then what I'll do is I'll just have Corrin stand here. Just have her motherfucking stand right here to block the point. Stand right the fuck here. Right the fuck here. Her iron axe and just choke the point and then let's see yeah he only has 19 attacks so he doesn't actually kill any of my units so then what I'll do then is just set up Baruka on the point let's see Hinata doesn't hit any of my guys right no no he does not he does not he does not ladies and gentlemen he does not so I'll just set you on the point just to be absolutely safe and like I said, this guy can only kind of get near, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'll mend a Baruka. Heal does the same thing, so don't need to waste a mend. Okay. 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 And then Cius is over here. He does nothing. So I'll just have him wait and be still. Bitch, you wish. Come on now, don't be silly. Don't be fucking silly, yeah. bitch. Don't you be fucking silly now. You know you're no match. Okay, that's cool. Now she has a full guard gauge. Okay, throwing club. It's cool. I have my guard gauge. You're an ignorant fool if you think this will do any damage. Okay. And you see, ladies and gentlemen, oh, I really should have turned that Naginata. Okay, so that's hit. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, no more attacks. The archers are actually going around. That's really good. That's really good. Now they won't go for the ballista. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen? Oh god, I wish my defense wasn't sealed right now. I really wish it wasn't. And there are archers right here, so putting Camilla in range would be idiotic. So Hinata would kill a lot of my guys. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do here is make the best use of all my movements. I cannot move Corrin off the point. I cannot move corn off that point. That'd be terrible. So what I need to do now, for sure, first thing, kill this Pegasus Knight with Nyx. I mean, Veruca. No, come on! Fuck! You're literally going to miss on the last turn. You're literally going to miss on the last turn. You're literally going to miss on the last turn. Okay, you know what? Fine. We have Camilla. Actually, I'll have Camilla kill this guy, since he's kind of a threat. Come on, Veruca, come the fuck on. Literally on the last turn, that's so stupid. That's just this game sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. Conquest demands the world of you. Conquest demands the world of you, and then it does not give you the world in return, because then it pulls shit like that. Okay. So I need to be very careful about my positioning here. Okay. Can I have someone else take care of these guys? Okay. So the archers cannot reach the ballista. Not now, not ever. And I'll take care of you this turn. Oh, come on, bitch. Okay. You know what? What if I just equip my hand axe so I don't even double, right? She sealed my attack. She sealed my attack. Okay. So what if I just don't even bother trying to get rid of these guys? Because it's the last turn anyway, right? Turn 11, turn 11. Okay. So Hinata, 
So what if I just had Arthur try to deal with this guy? How would that work out? How would it work out? Okay. Pretty good chance. Pretty good chance. So I'll do that before I attack with, Nail with uh, Niles. Okay, so that's dead. That's how you do it, Baruka. That's how you do it. You stupid, idiotic buffoon. Fuck you. Missing twice in one chapter. Are you kidding me? Okay. So hopefully Camilla Chain is fine over there. 29 times 2. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good. This, this is what I like to see. That was good for me. Okay. Holy shit. Let's see, what if I switched? That's defense 15. And then, like, I'm pretty sure they won't move out of the way for the archers. So let's just quit that for now. That's not necessary. Um, the archers cannot reach the ballista. My only concern is that Camilla might die. Because let's see. These guys will make her defense go down. Defense minus 4. Let's see. Attack 17. Defense 19. So they'll do 0 damage. But then he'll attack me. But he just has an iron katana. And he won't double me even with darting blow. Um, so Camilla saves the day. And... Let's see. Shoot. What I would like to do... It's just heal Corrin to be absolutely sure of her power. But here's the thing. So if I equip the Hand Axe, I won't double and I won't kill in any conceivable universe. And then the Throwing Club's guy won't be able to make it to me since they need to occupy this spot. They need to occupy this spot to attack Effie. Because that's just what they need to do. So what I can then do... Wait. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. Okay, Hinata cannot seize the point. Hinata cannot seize the point. And you'll be fine. You'll probably get dual gauge or some bullshit. Okay, so then what we can do is just go over here and mend. And I feel completely safe about doing this. Because there are no, like, enemies on the side or anything. There are absolutely none. No bullshit like that. If I'm really concerned... Actually, no, no. I don't want anyone else in range, because I don't want anyone else to move. Okay. So then I'll just heal for Corrin. Thank you. Heal for Corrin. And then just equip the Hand Axe, which prevents crit. So, in no conceivable universe will I ever, ever kill Obero, thus opening up this choke point. In no conceivable universe will that happen. And then, over here, I will just move Azura out of range. And then... Uh, you do nothing. So, you just walk over here, I guess. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we just have to watch it play out. So, that's 11. 11, but you can take it. Won't kill Obero. Just won't. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Zero damage. Just do your zero. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, and you missed. And you missed. Okay, so that just guarantees, yeah. And, like, he does two damage anyway. I'm gonna put up a tough fight for Lord Kumi. You better, bitch. Okay. 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 Now, okay, I think we just win now. I think we win, because this does 11 and then nobody else attacks me. Yep. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That is Chapter 10, Unhappy Reunion. Oh, God. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is chapter 11, Unhappy Reunion. Unhappy Reunion. Unhappy Reunion. Despite Baruka being a little bitch about it, we actually managed to beat that chapter. 
despite Veruca being a little bitch about it, we actually managed to beat that chapter. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, ladies and gentlemen, we actually managed to get out of that one without getting our titties slapped too hard. You know, we had to use a lot of heal and manage staves, but hey, comes with the trade. Chris did an outstanding job choking that point. Cool unit. Not coolly written, but cool combat-wise. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see. And bye-bye.